Welcome back to New Rockstars, I'm Eric Boss, and Deadpool 3 will be Marvel Studios' one big movie of 2024, which might be why every rumor and theory that everybody is coming back to watch Deadpool kill the Fox X-Men universe are so easy to believe. I mean, we've seen set photos of him and Wolverine tangoing on the crumbling ruins of the 20th Century Fox logo. I mean, that alone tells us that anything is possible. But between the other X-Men we've seen before and the TVA to X-23 and Taylor Swift, which of these are nice, valid theories and which of them are naughty. Let's play nice versus naughty with 23 characters confirmed or anticipated to be in Deadpool 3 and really whether they're stocking stuffers or lumps of coal. One, Ryan Reynolds Deadpool, obviously he's in the movie, he's in the title of the movie, but presumably we're going to pick up with him as he bounces through the timelines using Cable's time travel wristwatch from Deadpool 2. Sounds like Cable will not be in this movie though. Two, Hugh Jackman Wolverine, also clearly in the movie. The last summer's set photo shows Hugh in the classic blue and yellow outfit, so we are looking at an X-Men universe that's not exactly the one from the original films, but a new one using elements from places like the animated X-Men series. Three, Marina Backer and Vanessa. We forget about her, but she is coming back in this movie. Wade saved her using the time travel device in Deadpool 2. She's coming back for the third film. Brianna Hildebrand, Negasonic Teenage Warhead. She is returning as well. Colossus, voiced by Stefan Kapichik, is also returning. Dopinder, played by Karen Sony, is returning. He said quite a year. Voicing Pravita Prabhakar in Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Blind Al, Leslie Uggams, also returning. Yukio, Shioli Gatsuna, Negasonic Teenage Warhead's girlfriend, also returning. And Peter, Rob Delaney, survivor from the X-Force team that Deadpool saved in the post-credit montage that's also coming back. Go home, sugar bear. Go home. Though, from Deadpool 2, it sounds like we're not going to see Zazie Beats Domino or TJ Miller as Weasel or Juggernaut voiced by Ryan Reynolds himself. Though, we'll see. As I said, anything's possible. All right, Emma Corrin, known for playing Diana Spencer in past seasons of The Crown, is playing a lead villain role in this movie. Currently unknown, but Scooper, can we get some toast? Claims that Corrin is playing Cassandra Nova. Cassandra Nova is Charles Xavier's evil twin, whom he tried to telepathically kill in the womb, but she spends her life rebuilding a body to get her revenge. All right, Matthew McFadden. Fadian, Tom Wan's cancer of succession, is also playing an undisclosed role. There were some rumors that he'd be playing a TVA agent named Paradox, assigned to Deadpool's case. But, and this is one of my favorite stories from the past couple months, in October, a fascinating Reddit post claims to have completely made that rumor up, and everyone just went with it, including scoopers like, can we get some toast? But can we get some toast? Denied it! And said so that they sourced that independently. Ah, who knows? Okay, next, Jennifer Garner Electra was also confirmed last summer by the Hollywood reporter. But recently, Collider Steven Weintraub asked Jennifer Garner about this, and she responded by playing coy. Did you ever think you were going to wear the Electra suit again? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so, What um, could you mean? I'm hypothetically thinking you could be in a Deadpool sequel. Hypothetically. Not that I'm aware of. Okay, I'll avoid. I'll, I'll move on. So if Jennifer Garner is coming back as Electra, and it sounds like she is, I don't think we would see her without Ben Affleck Daredevil. Last summer, scooper Casey Walsh claimed that Ben Affleck was spotted on the set for Deadpool 3, and this would have been around the time when they were rushing to shoot remaining footage before all the actors went on strike in July. While Sean Levy and Ryan Reynolds have claimed they don't want to change Wolverine's death in 2017's Logan, the latest rumor is that Daphne Keene, X-23, from the 2017 Logan film is in talks to reprise her role. This comes from scooper Daniel Rickman, aka Daniel PK. My thinking is that maybe Deadpool accidentally wanders through a portal into that film, Wolverine's gravesite on the Canadian border. The next 23 who is keeping watch over that grave just pounces on Deadpool and claws him nearly to death until he leaves. So that's what they meant by they weren't going to touch the grave. Like Deadpool can't even get close. Thank you to Geology for partnering with us to bring you this video and also for giving our audiences exclusive access to their new Try Before You Buy program. You've probably heard me mention Geology before, the 28 time award winning skin, hair, and and body care company recognized in Men's Health, Hype Beast, Birdie, Esquire, Ask Men, and Oprah Daily Grooming Awards. But hey, I get it. It can be tough to change a skincare routine or start a new one. Part of what's nice about Geology is they create simple and effective skincare and hair care routines customized just for you. And now, if you want to try that new routine out before you buy a bunch of stuff, you can. Geology is offering New Rockstars viewers a free trial of their eight-piece skincare set with their Try Before You Buy program. You can experience a new skincare routine risk-free for 14 days. If you don't love it, send it back it's that easy. The set is valued at $139. All you pay today is the price of shipping. And if you order today, get a free vitamin C plus E ferulic acid as a gift. You don't need to return it. That's yours. Just head to geology.com slash new rockstars and get your free trial. And geology will send you a personalized skincare routine. And if you don't mind me, I'm going to take some geology and uh, uh, look good for the rest of this video. And then next up, oh, I don't know how we buried this one so late in the video. My apologies to all Swifties, but Taylor Swift, Dazzler? When Taylor Swift 
Cook was spotted at the Chiefs game with Sean Levy and Ryan Reynolds, it led to a week of insanity over how she might appear in Deadpool 3, with most common thinking being that she's going to play the mutant singer Dazzler. We actually sent Kasim out on Hollywood Boulevard to ask real fans what they thought. Sean Levy finally broke his silence on this, saying, quote, I'm going across the board, no comment, because that's a double whammy, that's Taylor related, and it's MCU related. I'm no dummy, you're gonna have to wait and see. And when asked about Taylor Swift by the Vancouver Sun, Ryan Reynolds said, quote, I think it is a sign of how eager people are to get a peek behind the curtain in this world. Every single one of these secrets and spoilers will be revealed on July 26, which is Deadpool 3's release date. So I don't know. I, I feel like if Taylor Swift was not involved, they wouldn't dare even tease that she might be in it. Okay, returning to some other familiar mutants that we are now expecting, Kelsey Grammer Beast, Hank McCoy. After his surprise appearance in the post credit scene for the Marvels, really, he is now the second member of the X-Men that we've seen on screen in the MCU. And I would be surprised if they created that character design for just one cameo. And in that Marvel scene, he also mentioned Professor Charles Xavier, who in the MCU, if Beast is played by Kelsey Grammer, would be played by Patrick Stewart. Obviously not the dead Charles Xavier from Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, but whatever Charles is in this new X-Men universe, because back in February 9th of this year, Patrick Stewart told comicbook.com, I've been told to stand by. I know nothing more than that, honest. And if they get Patrick Stewart, I think we also got to consider his best friend, Ian McKellen Magneto, someone whose name has also been floated around just by some, you know, not 100% reliable sources. Similar claims are actually made that Channing Tatum Gambit filmed a cameo for Deadpool 3. This would be after Tatum reportedly had a Gambit film in the works that never made it out of development hell. Next, Halle Berry Storm turns some heads back last May, you remember, when she posted an Instagram photo of herself with new short white hair, which could be part of Aurora Monroe's new look for Deadpool 3. May 24th would have been just a couple weeks into Deadpool 3's production. And Storm being in this would line up with rumors that James Marsden Cyclops and Faumke Jansen Jean Grey are also returning for cameos. And the last on this list, Dogpool. This is actually confirmed. Ryan Reynolds confirmed it on Twitter. And a couple more in case you think the first few don't count. Spoiler warning on these, Sabretooth was spotted on set, according to the Daily Mirror, returning from the 2000 X-Men movie when he was played by Tyler Maine, fighting Deadpool and Wolverine and getting beheaded, apparently. Toad was also spotted, who was originally played by Darth Maul actor Ray Park in the 2000 film. So, which of these rumors are nice, which are naughty, and how much can we trust them? Well, Deadpool and Wolverine, the returning Deadpool 2 cast, Elektra, and I'm gonna say Daredevil, as well as X-23, and yes, Dogpool, I think they're nice. Meanwhile, uh, Taylor Swift and the rest of the X-Men cast in the exact roles that Karen and McFadden are playing, according to these scoopers, I think is just a bit too naughty. It's not false yet, just naughty. Here's what I'll say though. If Marvel Studios plans on one film in all of 2024, I think that gives greater weight to the exact way this X-Men universe was introduced in the post credit scene of the Marvels. I know, I know, Marvel Studios just ends all their movies with post credit scenes, many of which we never really follow up on. But I think people are sleeping on this post credit scene just because the Marvels really underperformed at the box office. I think it's extremely important. So don't sleep on Binary or Hank McCoy Beast. And I think it was really important that Beast mentioned Charles Xavier. He says that Charles specifically asked for an update on whatever's going on with this female cosmic multidimensional traveler. Could this particular Charles be particularly worried about a Cassandra Nova trying to kill him? You can support us by grabbing something from nerdriot.shop. Everyone have a happy holiday and I'll see you soon. Bye.